I'm Cole from Semi Precious Weapons. I'm Dan, Semi Precious Weapons. Hi, I'm Justin. Stevie. We are from Semi Precious Weapons, and we're going to show you what is in our bag. I'm going to start. Get in. Bad brains. Ah! I used to sit on my friend's older brother's floor and listen to him play Bad Brains covers all day long. And eventually, I traded him a crossbow and a phone that made bomb noises for my first bass amp. You don't want to know. Went to the DVD section and got um, one of my favorite experimental filmmakers, Stan Brackett. He does a lot of crazy stuff, psychedelic film, scratching it, painting it, all kinds of crazy shit. I am currently reading uh, a Mae West uh, biography and she's kind of the coolest and smartest lady who's ever lived and extremely, extremely filthy. I think um, Mae West was, was the first rock star before anyone knew what a rock star was. I'd like to have a word with you when it's convenient. I've been saving a little time for you. Come up in a few minutes. Suicide! Why? Because you should consider killing yourself. Also, because the record is fucking awesome. It's one of the coolest bands ever. Um, they're like crazy, claustrophobic, crazy synth noise. I mean, it's, it's the best if you don't uh, know this band. You should check them out. They're rad. More films. Kenneth Anger, also experimental filmmaker. Pretty big, you know, he's in just crazy, crazy films. Check oh wait, out. is this the one that we watched that I saw at the keyboard guy's house? No, that's um, Joe Dorowski. Oh, I fail. Let's I was going to buy that. That's, I highly re recommend that. Joe Dorowski, El Topo. These two, uh, Olivier Messiaen and Tori Takamitsu, two of my favorite modern classical composers. Um, most people wouldn't like this at all. They would think they were listening to a bird taking a bath in sailing on Mars. And this, some people would like, but it would make you want to go to the dentist. This is one of my favorite um, Japanese ex artists, um, Keiji Haino. It's like very loud noise. Oh, see guitar. The, the amazing hair situation. He does have some pretty serious hair, all black. And you notice <laughs> his CDs are all black. He dresses in all black. Um, and he plays really loud. This is my next record, Smog, Sky, Bill Callahan, great songwriter. Um, also, there's a couple tunes on here which are like incredibly, horribly heartbreaking. And if you ever, you know, like really are thinking like horrible, sad thoughts, if you listen to this, you'll feel even worse than when you started. So, so I, I think it. you should listen to it right this second. Oh, yeah. Like a horseshoe. I acquired three uh, Patty Larkin CDs, who is my favorite songwriter of all time. Um, this is her new CD, Patty Larkin 25, um, which I don't have yet, and I'm thrilled to have it. And these two I've, I've bought probably about seven times each, but they were for um, $1.99 downstairs, which is unacceptable, and I will not ever allow that to happen. Also, Japanese from the 70s, this is um, Le Rallyzes de Nudes, and they're a really rare underground band from Japan. Basically, they've been, <clears throat> you know, there's people who say they're sort of like the velvet underground of Japan, sort of, and they, they freak out for a long time with <laughs> feedback and everything. <laughs> they Pretty freak awesome. freak out man. for a long time. <laughs> Charles Mingus Town Hall Concert. Danny Richmond dead on the drums, Eric Dolphy, one of the greatest uh, working bands in musical history. It happens to be jazz, um, and uh, there's nothing cooler than this ever. This is the prequel to Ichi the Killer. Um, Ichi the Killer is a Japanese movie that's extremely violent and extremely glamorous, and one of my favorite movies of all time. Not surprisingly, because we all share a brain in this band, 
I got each <sighs> killer. Oh. Basically, it's the best ever. It's the best clothes ever. The fashion is ridiculous. Everybody in the movie is completely out of their mind. It's freaky and awesome, and you know, I guess we're gonna watch it right after we watch Ichi, which Justin got. Andre Chopin, this is a rare one I found. He's uh, unfortunately died last year. He's a, he's a famous um, sound poet, um, and basically. What, what is a sound poet, Stephen Pine? Well, um, basically it's just mumble jumble into the <laughs> microphone with, you know, little feedback and everything. That's basically what it sounds like. And he looks like that. <laughs> yes. So many precious weapons loves the hip hop. And uh, two of our favorites are Outkast and Ghostface Killer. So we're probably going to put these on in the dressing room. <laughs> And it's gonna be awesome. Oh, Madonna, the girly show. Live from Down Under, which goes very well with KG High Now, I've heard. <laughs> Thurston Moore, Psychic Hearts. Mm. Yes! Okay, this record is fucking awesome. One, because at one point in time, one of the lines is he's talking about driving around in the Batmobile, and he's fucking dead serious about it. Also, the last track on the record is called LG for All the Dead Rock Stars, and it's probably the greatest guitar tone of all time. So I want to be a guitar snob, even though I don't play the guitar, but who cares? This record's awesome. You should buy it. Oh, I got Peaches. We listen to Peaches a lot before shows, um, because for obvious reasons, because it's extremely fun and extremely filthy. You can't ignore a it. I'm the kind of... I make these um, kind of like sound collage things on cassette and I always put them over interesting things and today I'm putting them over two things that mean a lot to me. I grew up on country music. Uh, my mom used to play Willie Nelson in the car all the time when we would drive to Kentucky to see my relatives who called me poor names when I saw them. Uh, Willie Nelson and Ray, Ray Price, uh, San Antonio Rose, Garth Brooks, Rope in the Wind. When it comes to I have no idea who the fuck this is, but I saw it with Rad. <laughs> and it was recommended by one of the people here, and everybody here at Amoeba is Rad, so I'm gonna trust them. I bet it's fucking awesome. Look at this, can you take a, can you just, just get in there? Because that's really serious. I mean, this man has various problems. This record's gonna be awesome, I know it. Some sound art, Kevin Drum. A uh, new release by him, which is really cool. I'm a big fan of the band Nile, which sounds like the Necronomicon. And uh, someone told me that Job for a Cowboy was really awesome. I checked them out. They are awesome. It sounds like me dying by being closed in the Book of the Dead. I think this is my last thing, which is just Iggy Pop live from Avenue B. That was um, recorded in December 2nd, 1999. So he's probably 100 here, but still one of the greatest performers to ever live at 100. Ah! Chet Baker, we listen to it on the plane and it's like the greatest phrase of all time and it's fucking awesome. And you put this on and good things will happen to you and your clothes will most likely not stay on. Chip Baker. Are you done? I'm done. All right. That worked out good. This is possibly my one of my favorite artists of all time, one of my favorite composers of all time, which is weird because it's uh, electronic music. Um, the artist is called Venetian Snares. He make, he's from uh, Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, he makes about seven albums a year. They all sound so unique and crazy, and uh, you've never heard anything like it. Venetian Snares, you can buy seven of his albums every year because he makes that many. Genius. I'm done. That's it. Did we do it? It's just glamour. Let's just drown. Put a time in it. 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 Put a time in